Hi YouTube, this is the Fundamentals of Computer Hardware Maintenance. Today we are going to discuss about uh, hardware repairs. A uh, computer comprises of two components, which is the hardware component and the software component. Now, uh, hardware can fail uh, sometimes and then it may require a professional to fix uh, the problem. So let's go to uh, the main topic, which is the hardware repairs. Uh, hardware means uh, hardware repairs means to rectify uh, or to fix the problem either in the hardware or, or software. It may also include replacement of a component that is uh, faulty. It is an essential part of troubleshooting. In finding or analyzing uh, the faults, it can be decided which hardware or software can be repaired. That means uh, we can't exactly say this is what has failed. Uh, unless we check it and see and then we are going to go through the procedures that you are going to follow to find uh, what kind of component of the computer that has failed. This is the general, guide uh, general guidelines for repairing a computer. For repairing or troubleshooting a computer, use the following guidelines. Uh, number one, you need to gather together your toolkit, example like air blowing machines, like like uh, screwdrivers, the softwares, the backup uh, disk. Uh, uh, another thing is to check for power first before doing anything else. You need to check the power because 10 to 15 percent of all the computer issues and problems emanate from power uh, surge. Check this uh, before doing anything else to check uh, check to be sure if the computer is plugged into. Uh, an AC outlets properly or not. Uh, the next thing is check your external connection to the computer. Specifically, check the mouse, the keyboard, the monitor, the modem, uh, and all the printer cables, making sure that all are secure and in the uh, right socket. The next thing is to uh, perform the power on self test, which we call POSTs. POST is the set of procedures that a computer runs through each time it is turned on. It ensures that all the system's hardware is working properly before trying to load the operating system. If the computer does not pass uh, POST, it will not boot. Tips. Make sure that computer turns on. If nothing happens, no light or no sound and no fun, the the, the computer has a power uh, related issue. I mean, if you turn on your if you turn on your computer and it it doesn't produce uh, any LED lights, no any sounds, no fans of no fan is not moving, then definitely the problem is from the is a power related problem. Uh, this is the example of a uh, post. If you turn on any computer, uh, you will see this screen like this. Uh, it will display the name of the manufacturer of that very computer, and then it will proceed proceed to be to the uh, OS booting. Uh, still in the general guidelines for repairing computers, uh, if the computer is still malfunctioning, malfunctioning, uh, go ahead and then open the case. Check to see, after you have opened the case of the computer, check to see that all the cards are fully pressed down into the uh, bus connections. That any sockets, any sockets chip are fully pressed into their sockets and that all the cables connections are fully attached. Make sure that the drive cables are attached correctly. Uh, then killing any dust or foreign materials out of the case while it is uh, open. So when you open your computer case, like in this case, uh, we have opened the, this desktop. This is the inside uh, of the desktop case and this is the inside of the uh, laptop. We are cleaning the dust in it and we are using air blower to remove any dust and anything unnecessary in it. So those can cause overheating problems and electrical shorts. Sometimes insects will nest inside the case as well. All of this need to be uh, cleaned out before you close up the case. Take precautions to avoid inhaling excess dust and consider using a protective eyewear if necessary. Still in the general guidelines for repairing computers, try to boot the computer to the hard drive or to boot a uh, uh, or to a bootable CD or DVD disk if necessary. Sometimes the hard disk will become corrupted by a user or a virus. Then uh, check the CMOS setup program and correct any configuration problems. 
If the information in the CMOS RAM about your computer configuration has been changed or if the battery has died, your computer will not boot correctly or it will not recognize a certain component. Uh, this is an example of a CMOS battery. This CMOS battery controls uh, it uh, controls the date and time and also save the configuration inside your computer. Uh, look, up, look for onward changes. Someone may have turned the brightness down on your monitor or the LAN staff may have uh, changed your PC's configuration without your knowledge or approval or an installation program may have correct may have corrupted for your software look for the present uh, for the recent changes in your systems operation you may need to run and to run an uninstaller program to remedy software related uh, problems isolate the problem to one piece of hardware or one software package when all this fails then consult a professional uh, computer issues and problems and the tips to troubleshoot and fix or repair uh, that problem. The computer, if uh, you have a problem that the computer is unable to start up, if the computer does not run on when you press the power button, the following suggestion may help you to determine why the computer will not uh, start up. Sometimes you may turn on your computer and the computer will be unable to start up. So first thing to do is first of all check if the computer is plugged into an uh, AC outlet, a power outlet properly, and then plug the uh, plug another electrical devices into the outlet to to be sure that the outlet is providing an adequate power supply. Or if you have a multimeter, you can measure the volts uh, the voltage of your outlet and confirm that the the light is in the uh, outlet. Then a surge protector can be used in this case because voltage across uh, voltage surges can be very can be very uh, damaging the computer and other electrical components when put on the system to perform a post. Enter the post and then it is confirmed that computer is producing all of the usual sort of sounds and lights, but the motor is not displaying any information. Perhaps uh, there is a problem with the monitor. Make sure that it is connected to the power source and also that the VGA cable uh, is connected to the uh, uh, computer. Another problem is uh, the computer screen is blank. Sometimes the computer can set up, but the screen is uh, blank. Uh, is blank. If the screen is blank, the computer may not be may not be set to display the images on the computer screen. First, check if the monitor is plugged into the power outlets and is connected to the computer securely and make sure that monitor power is but uh, monitor power button is on if the power light is uh, is not on it means that the outlet on uh, is not de delivering power to the monitor fixing the power outlet in such cases shall help uh, solve the issue now if you connect it uh, and then the monitor is blank then confirm that the power outlet of the monitor is connected and then check the VGA cable of oh, if you are using HDMI, check the HDMI cable that make sure that all the cables are connected uh, tightly. Another problem is uh, if this the blue if the computer shows blue screen, these are the uh, these are caused by poorly functioning uh, device drivers, hardware problems such as a, as a memory power supplies or system overheating. Problem with the system software, the option of the system recovery and the backup service will restore your PC to an earlier point of the stage. You can perform this uh, action while you get a blue screen, error, or sudden system crash. Backup service is an assurance that your data is safe. Uh, these are the two examples of a uh, blue screen. This blue screen, this first blue screen you are seeing, it can happen. If your computer shows this, it means the problem is either from the software or from the hardware. And then uh, this is the beginning of dump physical memory. Physical memory don't complete. Contact your uh, administrator technology. And this is the stop code for this uh, error. So this may be from the hardware. But if you see problem like this, it's definitely from the uh, software, from the OS. So you need to, be, to make sure that... Uh, uh, you need to reset the computer first and then you can run to you can run a safe mode to run your computer and reset it again 
and then uh, proceed. Trouble with the video card. Sometimes you can turn on your computer, the system setup, and it can be showing you something like this. For example, like in this uh, system, look at the the video it's producing. It's like blow, and this is another computer. Look at the problem it is producing, and this is a typical example of a uh, uh, GPU. If the power lights of the computer and monitor is on and nothing comes up on the screen when you start your computer then there must be something wrong with the video card change its uh change its video or the graphic card with a new one so in laptop cases if this happens we may consider uh hitting the uh, nose bridge which is the gpu on that very uh laptop but in desktop computers sometimes we may remove uh, the gpu and then clean the slots and then turn it back to the uh, PC. Then OS also or some software is functioning abnormally. If the operating system or some other software is unresponsive or responding abnormally, uh, immediate, immediate solutions as restart your computer and run a virus scan. Not if you if you shall have a reliable antivirus software installed on your computer to fix these issues. Windows do not boot properly. This is another problem that a uh, computer user is facing sometimes. If the Windows do not boot properly, then you shall reinstall Windows with the Windows recovery disk. Most of the times, this shall help you get rid of the problem. Like in this, uh, this is the recovery mode. Your PC couldn't turn up properly. Maybe it has shut down unexpectedly. They said, press F8 for start up our uh, settings. If you have a problem like this, it will show you to press f8 for startup settings if you press f8 this is what will going to be show which is what will show you uh this is a system restore uh system image recovery startup repair command prompt the startup settings uh go back to the previous build so among these uh options you may choose a uh, system restore if you choose system restore it will restore to the point recommended on your pc that the window work before and if you choose start up repair, it will start it will repair the OS and then continue from where it is. But a system restore will restore the last non good configuration. But repairs will repair the uh, the problem and continue from where it uh, stopped. Another problem that the computer uh, is facing is the computer is on but not responding. The computer is on but not responding to the software or keyboard or uh, keyboard command then it must be frozen or halted immediate solution press and hold the power button for at least five seconds it will be turned off now restart your computer this uh, should fix the problem if an excellent device if devices are not working if an excellent device does not function as as uh, as, as uh, expected immediate solution Turn it on according to the manufacturer's instructions. Be sure that all devices' connections are secure and receiving electrical power. Be sure that devices is compatible with the operating system and that the correct drivers are installed uh, and updated. Sometimes you may connect a devices that requires uh, electrical, power, electrical power to them and if you didn't turn, them, uh, turn the device on, it will not uh, work properly. And device drivers must be installed correctly of that uh, device so in order to make it uh, work perfectly. This is a troubleshooting flowchart. If you have a problem or issue, uh, the next thing to do is turn the computer on. Uh, does a causal appears? If no, uh, if yes, does a, uh, if no, troubleshoot the video or power supply problem. If yes, does the path uh, so does, does post pass uh, successfully? That means does the power and self test pass successfully? If you troubleshoot post error, if yes, that a computer boot properly. If you to troubleshoot a uh, device operating system or application loaded in the start of folder, if yes, uh, and then does the end. That means uh, if the OS start up, then does the end. The system is working normally. Most common basic computer hardware repairs. Uh, replacing a power supply the power supply failure is common problem in an in uh, in our country 
and this is due to an uneven low power voltage and power uh, surges. Replacing a hard drive or formatting and installing fresh operating system uh, is another common uh, computer repairs. Replacing a hard drive, replacing power supply, replacing a RAM. RAM can fail or can uh, lose from any housing and need to be uh, reseated. If a computer needs new or additional RAM, it is important to make sure that the RAM used is compatible with the computer system. RAM is very uh, easily damaged by electrostatic charges. So it is very important for the user to be grounded before picking up a uh, RAM. Also, RAM should only be handled by the edges. Like in this case, look at the edges. He, ho he hold RAM uh, and then he inserted to the RAM slot. This is the hard disk uh, replacement. He hold it and then trying to fix it to the computer. And this is an example of a typical power supply to the desktop. Uh, peripheral hardware use and maintenance. Peripheral hardware will also last longer if it is uh, well maintained. Peripheral hardware such as uh, printers, scanners will last longer if, if proper care about heat, dust and power such control is uh, taken to consideration. Troubleshooting and fixing a printer problem. Let us assume that your printer's driver are up to date and that it has enough paper and ink or toner to print. Try turning the paper, the printer off and on. Unplug the printer and plug it back in. Check your printer's uh, print queue by uh, looking for the printer icon in the system tray and double click, uh, double clicking it. The print queue shows you the status of uh, each print, each each job as well as the general status of your printer. Make sure that use printer offline is not uh, selected because uh, you need to select an online printer. If you select offline printer, that means it's not going to print. Make sure that use printer offline is not checked. Sometimes printing while your printer is turned off can cause windows to set your printer to work offline and that can uh, stall job send uh, later. It will, it will send your job to work later. Uh, thank you for watching us. If you have enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification icon for the next coming videos.